Okay, so in this video, I'm going to create a rotation matrix to move about a vector in two-dimensional space um, using a slider. So to make a slider, it's the second last tool up here in the toolbar. I click on that. Uh, wherever I click on the grid, that's where my slider is going to appear. So I'm going to click down here. I'm going to give my slider, or sorry, the parameter for my slider, the, uh, the name A, capital A. So select angle and um, rename things so I'm gonna call it capital A my range for my angle will be between 0 and 360 degrees and my increment will be 1 degree so I click OK and there's my slider and so I can vary my angle here capital A between 0 and 360 degrees I've got over here in the algebra bar uh, a variable capital A so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use A as our angle in this rotation matrix formula. So we've got to make a matrix. I'm going to do that using the spreadsheet. So open up spreadsheet here. So in the 1-1 one, one entry, I'm going to have the cosine of A. In the 1-2 entry, I am going to have negative times the sine of A. In the 2-1 entry, I will have the sine of A. And the 2-2 entry is the cosine of A. Okay. So we still haven't quite got the matrix yet. We still have to create this. But we've got these entries we're going to put into a matrix. So I'm going to highlight them. Uh, scroll down on right-click, scroll down to create, and then select matrix once I'm on create and there we go so GeoGebra has created this matrix for us this m1 value so notice it's rounding off um, uh, the cosine of 358 to uh, to 1 um, okay so there's m1 and we'd like to be able to apply this matrix m1 this rotation matrix to some vectors so here's the problem I've got a vector so let me create a couple of vectors here I've got this vector m1, sorry, um, not the vector m1, the vector 1, 1, rather. And I've got this other vector in the plane. So let's just call it, how about negative 4, 2. There we go. Or sorry, 2, negative 4, rather. And what we want to do is rotate this vector u so that it coincides with v. Well, we can do some playing around with the apply matrix function. So apply matrix has as arguments a matrix and, of course, a vector. So I'm going to pass it m1 as the matrix, and the vector I'd like to apply this to is u. Okay, so in GeoGebra immediately spits out this new vector u prime. Um, and u prime is the new vector that we get by taking u and applying the matrix m1 to it for the for the value 158 degrees. So u is going to rotate at 158 degrees here to get u prime. Now we want this to coincide with v, so let's uh, let's keep on rotating this and see what happens. Make note of that angle, so it's pretty darn close, right? So. So if I rotate u 252 degrees, it should coincide with this vector v. So this matrix here that I've got, um, sorry, over here, is negative 0 0.31, 0 0.95, negative 0.95, negative 0.31. This is the matrix we need to apply to u to get v. So this is the rotation matrix that corresponds to that rotation. So that should be helpful for question seven.